Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Dr. Sahar Javed Chapla, currently uh, heading the biochemistry for Institute of Dentistry, CMH Lahore, working as an assistant professor over there. So uh, other than that, I am a dentist uh, by my degree, a clinical nutritionist by profession. Since I pursued my master's and PhD in medical biochemistry, that is how I am heading biochemistry for Institute of Dentistry in CMH Lahore. Uh, I am a regular media panelist. I speak over a lot of social issues and uh, I am a regular speaker for various health segments in all the leading news channels of Pakistan. And I am also a motivational speaker for different uh, TV channels that are rated amongst the top TV channels uh, in Pakistan. I am the keynote speaker for Pakistan Sports Board and Athletic Federation of Pakistan as well. So that was a little bit of my introduction. I'm extremely thankful to the Jinnah Singh Medical University uh, Alumni Forum for having me on board and giving me the opportunity to share two cents. Basically, uh, something that I have uh, been, uh, I have spent almost eight years in the academic field now. Or something that has been a constant through all my years is, has been, uh, you know, the emotional distress and the social distress faced by medical students. Hum health or wellness ki jab baat kar rahe hai, to mein hamisha ye baat karti hu, ke jo aapki sehat hoti hai, jo aapki wellness hoti hai, wo teen cheezon ka majmua hoti hai. That includes your spiritual health, that includes your mental health, that includes your physical health, right? So, um, in this way, a big equilibrium is necessary to maintain. If your equilibrium, your balance, your equilibrium is bad in any place, then the whole of your equilibrium is hit. And it is very difficult to be actually functional if you are not healthy. Now, I've told you that you're healthy, you're healthy, you're healthy, spiritually, physically, mentally, in every way, you're balanced, you're healthy. Um, तभी आप फंक्शनल होते हैं तभी आप एक्चुअली फंक्शनल होते हैं वरना ये होता है कि आप तेज तो जाते हैं लेकिन आप दूर तक नहीं जा सकते दूर तक आप तभी जाते हैं जब आप अपना ठीक तरह ख्याल रखते हैं मोर ओवर हम हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस ऑफ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स की बात सिर्फ इसे नहीं कर रहे हैं कि मेरा ताल्लुक मेडिकल फील्ड से है या मेरा सोशल सर्कल मेडिकल फील्ड में ज्यादा है हम इससे बात कर रहे हैं कि अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्ट्रेस अमाउंट ऑफ प्रेशर जो सोशल प्रेशर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स को फेस करना पड़ता है या जिस तरीके से जो उनकी लाइफ होती है रेगुलर स्टूडेंट्स से ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट ज्यादा जो है वो स्ट्रेस होती है वो चीज डेफिनेटली जो है उसको इग्नोर नहीं किया जा सकता और इसी इसको डिस्कस करने की जरूरत है इससे पहले कि मैं स्टूडेंट्स को एड्रेस करूं मैं स्टूडेंट्स के पेरेंट्स को एड्रेस करना चाहूंगी कि अपने बच्चों से कोई ऐसी उम्मीदें ना पालें जो कि प्रैक्टिकल ही नहीं है उनके लिए प्रैक्टिकल लैंडमार्क सेट करें पहले ही जो मेड स्कूल के स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जो एस्पायरिंग स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जिन्होंने मेड स्कूल में डेंटल स्कूल में एडमिशन लिया होता है चाहे वो प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस में मोस्ट ऑफ देम दे आर अमंग्स द शाइनिंग स्टार्स दे आर द क्रीम ऑफ द कंट्री इट इज नॉट एन ओवर स्टेटमेंट अगर कहा जाए कि वो क्रीम ऑफ कंट्री और मीन आप सारे बच्चों को भी एड्रेस करके कहना चाहूंगी आप सारे क्रीम ऑफ कंट्री हैं तभी आप लोगों ने इतने प्रेशर को सस्टेन करके इतने एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी इतने ऑलमोस्ट अनरियलिस्टिक ग्रेड्स लेके आप जो है आप मेड स्कूल में एंटर हुए हैं नाउ दैट दे हैव मेड इट You know, let them learn life skills as well. यहाँ पर मैं students को भी थोड़ा सा address करना चाहूंगी कि life is not all about what you read in your books. Yes, आप जिस field में enter हुए हैं आपके लिए बहुत ज्यादा जिम्मेदारी का काम है कि आपने उस knowledge को अच्छी तरह जो है ingest करना है उस knowledge को अच्छी तरह अपने अंदर inculcate करना है ताकि आप बाद में उसको apply कर सकें ये बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी आप लोगों की जिंदगी के साथ खेल रहे हैं लेकिन इसके बीच में आपकी अपनी जिंदगी भी इन्वॉल्व है और आप तब तक एक कामयाब डॉक्टर या कोई भी प्रोफेशनल नहीं बन सकते जब तक कि आप अपनी जात के ऊपर इन्वेस्ट नहीं करते जब तक कि आप किताबों की दुनिया से बाहर निकल के जो हकीकी दुनिया है जो लाइफ स्किल्स हैं जो दुनिया की टीचिंग्स हैं उनको नहीं सीखते आप लोग मेरी बात से मुतफिक होंगे आप इसे बहुत सारे लोग मेरी बात से एग्री करेंगे कि मेजोरिटी बुक को आप लाइफ में ज्यादा एक्सेल करते हुए नहीं देखेंगे आप उनको सिर्फ ग्रेड्स में एक्सेल करते हुए देखेंगे और इतना भी मैं बता दूं कि ग्रेड्स में एक्सेल करना लाइफ में एक्सेल करना नहीं होता वो सिर्फ आपके पास एक नंबर गेम है असल गेम आई ऑलवेज यूज टू से जब मैं भी अंडर ग्रेजुएट होती थी कि आई डोंट नो आई हैड दिस विजन इवन व्हेन आई वाज यू नो एन अंडर ग्रेड कि असल गेम तो आपके पास ग्रेजुएशन के बाद स्टार्ट होती है आप ज्यादातर बात आगे बढ़ाते हो उन लोगों को लाइफ में एक्सेल करते हुए देखेंगे जिन्होंने अपनी फिजिकल हेल्थ के ऊपर ध्यान दिया होगा जिन लोगों ने अपनी सोशल स्किल्स के ऊपर ध्यान दिया होगा जिन लोगों ने अच्छी नेटवर्किंग रखी होगी या जिन लोगों ने कोई और हॉबीज डिवेलप की होंगी बिकॉज 
they are actually the winners in the longer run no one is going to ask you okay, tell me about the classification of lymphomas and sarcomas and the grade of tumors when you will you know enter into the field what will your field test your field will test your emotional intelligence your field will test your ability to sustain uh, different kinds of stresses aapki field ye test karegi ki ye ek banda kitna acha multitasker hai theek hai aur jo aapki success hoti hai wo aapki professional social personal success teeno se milke banti hai aapki jo personal life hai wo tab achhi hogi jab aapko balance maintain karna aata hoga most of the people who are bookworms uh, with duopology most of the students who are bookworms they miss up on social things they you know, it's of course it's not important ki aap har social event jo usko attend karne nikal jaye but yes there are certain things that you need to attend you have family you need to have a social circle you need to be connected with people in your field so people who are just bookworms up mostly in logo mein yahi dekha jata hai ke they you know they uh, are not able to you know uh, keep it well in their personal life as well because us sab bhi sirf wo workaholic hote hain log is cheez mein bada pride feel karte hain in being called a workaholic it is you know nothing to be proud of log is cheez mein bada pride feel karte hain ki i even work on sundays i don't even take sundays off mujhe to yaad nahi hai maine shayad saal pehle jo hai wo last vacation li hogi it is nothing to be proud of proud of pride feel karne ki baat ye hai ki chahe aapki income few thousand dollars yearly kam ho lekin you have the time to spend with your family you have the time to go on vacations you have a life you at least you have a list of paper jis par aap likh sakte hain ki maine apna home garden grow kiya hai maine saal itni nayi books padhi hain maine itni nayi languages seekhi hain this is what actual success is aur main aksar apne students ko yahan cms lahore mein bhi ya pakistan mein bahut medical colleges ke students ke sath mera interaction hai through social media and all main yahi kehti hu ki it is perfectly okay if you score 60 or 65% because then you have the time to actually learn life and you have the time to actually excel aur jab aap in sab aadaton ko adapt karenge to in sab aadaton ko adapt karne ke baad kya hoga very simple in sab aadaton ko adapt karne ke baad ye hoga ki since you are venting since you are doing the things that are making you feel good you will automatically you know be okay in your head and when you will be okay in your head you will be more functional for example if you like to you know keep yourself physically active agar aap apne din ka start hi aerobic activity se karte hain workout se karte hain exercise se karte hain aap sab doctors hain it releases endorphins ye aapke hypothalamus ka wo area jo ki aapke emotions aapki memory aapki decision making aapke focus concentration se associated hai uske neurons ki growth karta hai usko regenerate karta hai you will have a better memory you will be able to focus well you will be able to perform better in class you will be able to you know better learn as far as the dentists and the surgeons are concerned learning skills as well and you know when you develop hobbies when you take care of yourself when you sit in different social circles especially social circles that are not uh, related or associated to your or field of profession you develop a new horizon you develop a new world you actually grow aapko pata lagta hai ki mere ilawa wo kaun se log hain mere duniya ke ilawa jo duniya ke log hain wo kya baatein kar rahe hain wo kya seekh rahe hain politics mein log kaisi baatein kar rahe hain media mein log kaisi baatein kar rahe hain entrepreneurs kaisi baatein kar rahe hain accountants kaisi baatein kar rahe hain bankers kaisi baatein kar rahe hain engineers kaisi baatein kar rahe hain novelists kaisi baatein kar rahe hain to isse aapki apni personality aur aapki apni vocabulary khulti jati hai और जब आपकी अपनी वोकेबुलरी अपनी पर्सनैलिटी खुलती जाती है यू स्टार्ट डिवेलप यू नो यू स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाइंग एंड रिकॉग्नाइजिंग डिफरेंट कॉर्नर्स ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी एंड व्हेन यू स्टार्ट रिकॉग्नाइजिंग डिफरेंट कॉर्नर्स ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी यू कैन हैव अ क्लियर आईडिया कि व्हिच कॉर्नर ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी यू नीड टू वर्क ऑन द मोस्ट एंड व्हिच कैन बी ग्रूम द मोस्ट फॉर योर प्रोफेशनल सोशल एंड पर्सनल बेनिफिट so it is not a one day task aisa nahi hoga ki ek din mein aapko ye sab skills aa jayengi and you know you will start juggling all of these pieces in a perfect balance all together all of this stuff will take time all right you will take time to master all of these skills and right now you are maybe too young to even understand how all of this will happen is scale par is level par all that you need to know is that you need to keep a good social circle you need to have, be in good physical shape main ye nahi keh rahi hu ki sab roz do se 3 ghante ka workout start kar de but at least 30 to 45 minutes dedicated hone chahiye aapki physical health ko aapki physical fitness ko you need to have good friends theek hai they help you in studies and in everything as well it's not good to you know be isolated in your hostel room or in your home not meeting with anyone and just studying all day so 
um uh isse kya hota hai ki um uh, you basically uh, actually grow and you actually develop um, and when you develop a lot of confidence when you develop a lot of people you have the ability to bond better with your seniors you develop relations that you know um uh, 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 start becoming fruitful for you even before your graduation you get a chance to learn better from your seniors because they are more comfortable around you because of your good communication skills because of how you are able to help people out so uh, i i hope i am able to convey my message a little bit ke ek to achhi aadatein jab aap develop karenge aapko padhai se time off bhi milega aur wo achhi aadatein develop karne ki wajah se aap padhai bhi behtar kar sakenge aur isi life mein aap apne aap ko actual life ke liye groom kar denge and trust me this is coming from a place of experience i always used to say this ki game graduation ke baad bhi start hoti hai and i never used to take pride in the fact that i should be sitting in my room 24/7 studying all the time and i have seen people you know studying 24/7 and now they are nowhere so you know just develop your skills just um, you know uh, uh, give you know the majority of your part of your day to the noble profession to the worthy learning of the noble profession that you are uh, um, enrolled in right now but you should remember that this profession is a part of your life it is not the heart of your life with that i would like to end my discussion if any one of you have any queries my email address is available below you can contact me via that via that and i will also give the information about my official page on facebook and also the link for my youtube channel i hope it was fruitful uh, looking forward to interacting with you guys again allah hafiz